Hi guys and welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've got a little fixed position custom drop down menu here. You hover over, you've got some links. Let go, it goes back where it was and it's fixed position. So if we scroll down the site, it's going to stay where it is. Really easy to do. We've got to do a bit of custom coding for this today, but don't let that put you off. Any code I write, I'll put below the video and you're welcome to use it. We recently did this with the Divi theme and somebody was asking about it with the Elementor theme. So let's get started. I've got this page open here. Now, if you're using the pro version, you can write your code in the custom CSS box in the actual element that we create. If you're using the free version, you need to go to the the additional CSS panel and you'll find this if you go to your dashboard in appearance customize that will bring you to this page right at the bottom you'll find the additional CSS tab so this is where you want to write it if you've got the free version all right let's get started I'm going to delete the one that I've got here okay Let's go down. Now it doesn't really matter where we put this because it's going to be in fixed position. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in a little separate section of its own right down the bottom here. So I'm just going to use a text editor for this. And the reason I'm going to do this will come become apparent in a minute. So here's our little section right here. There's the little text module I've put in there. Okay, so we're going to want to put in whatever it is you want your menu to say. I'm just going to say options. And I'm going to copy that over. And let's make this one. And we'll make this into a link, obviously, because it's a menu. Hit the little link button. Put in wherever it is you want the link to go in there. Hit the little backspace and apply it. And let's just copy this a couple of times. Obviously, you want to, going to want to go in and change the link on each of these. to take your visitors wherever it is you want the menu to take them. So there we go, we've got a little text module, the title and four links. Let's give it a bit of background color. So I'm gonna go over to Con advanced, down to background. And I'm simply gonna make it black. I'm gonna click on the color box, and drag it down there. Great, and the text itself which would be typography we can find in the style tab here it is I'm gonna make that white now you'll notice that the actual links stay whatever color they are by default for the theme but we can change that with a bit of code in a minute so let's go back to our advanced and let's go down to positioning we can actually make it the width that we want here I really only want it to be about this sort of wide obviously you make yours as wide as you want so I'm going to click on that drop down. I'm going to put custom in there. I'm going to drag it to the width that I actually want it. I think something like that's going to work for me. I want the actual text to be off the left hand side there. So back up to the advanced at the top here. We've got padding. I want to uncheck that because I only want to affect one side, the left side. If I leave that checked, it's going to do all four at once. So I'm going to put about 20 pixels there. Yeah, I think that works for me. I might make it slightly wider than that. So back down to positioning and let's take that. Let's round that up to 150. And you can either slide, type in a value. You can use pixels, percentage or viewable width if you prefer. Yeah, that's absolutely fine for me. OK, this is where we want to start adding a bit of custom CSS to actually style this thing the way we want it and to make it do what we want when we hover over it. So before we can target it, we need to give it a CSS class name. I'm going to call mine DDN for drop down. That's my kind of shorthand. You can call yours what you want. It wants to be unique and it really wants to make sense to you what it is. Now we've given it a name. We can actually target it with CSS. Like I say today, I'm using the custom CSS box because I've got the pro version installed. If you're using the free one, 
do it in your additional CSS panel in your customizer here. Okay, so there it is. We know it's got a name. And that's called a class. All classes have to have a dot or a period in front of them. So it's dot and then the class name, which is DDN. And what do we want to do? Well, when I hover over it, it wants to be nice and tall like this. When the mouse is off of it, I only want it to be showing the options part. So let's open and close some curly brackets and we can start writing some code. To make this work today, I've got to hide any overflow. So if I give it a height, it's going to hide anything above that height. So I'm going to say overflow, colon, hidden. And don't forget this code will be down below for anybody that just wants to copy and paste it. Now let's give it the height that we actually want it to just show that options. Let's try 30 pixels. So I'll say height, 30 pixels. It's kind of done it. It's a little too short. Let's try 35. That is about right. I think that's going to work for me anyway. Great. So we want to bring it back when we hover over it. So we want it to be the the height that we want. So let's copy this. I'm going to drop down a couple. And right on the end of DDN there, the class name, I'm going to, with no space, and it's important you don't put a space in there, I'm going to put a colon and then no space again and the word hover. And we can take away the overflow because we don't need to repeat that command. But height wise, we want to bring it back to whatever it was. So let's try 150 and what we'll do is go in and change those links color so we can actually see what's going on there. So let's see, that's going to bring it to there but it can't see the links to see how high we need it. So let's change the link color. Again, I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to drop down below here. And I'm going to, after the end this time, add an A so we can target the links within this and make them a color that we can actually see. I just don't need the height or the overflow there. So I'm just going to say color. Just make them blue. Let's just drop that down. There we go. Let's have a look now. There we can actually see and we're missing one on the end. So we're not tall enough. Let's try 180. There we go. Now the time it takes to get from there to here is absolutely instant. I'm going to slow it down so it looks a bit more graceful with a bit of transition duration. So let's do that in the regular DDN state, not the hover state. I'm going to drop down one. I'm going to say transition dash duration. I'm going to slow it down to maybe a second. Obviously, you put in whatever you want. 1s. You can increment 0.5 seconds, 0.2 seconds, however you want to do it. So that should take an actual second, a uh, second to do that now. There we are. That's a lot more graceful, and it looks like it's just sort of popping down there. Great. So we've got just about everything we need. Our links will work now. It'd be nice if the links change color also when we hovered over them. So we can do that really easy. I'm actually gonna copy this one right here again. And I'll drop down a couple. Go up so you can see what's going on. And after the A this time with no gap, we're gonna do the same thing, colon and the word hover. So we're setting a hover state. When we hover on it, let's make it white perhaps. FFF, which is white. And we don't want it to ha happen instantly. FFF. So let's just steal this bit of transition duration. And again, we need to put this in the regular state, not the hover state right here. So our text, when you hover on it, should take a second to change from blue to white too. So let's try that. Great. perfect all right last but not least I don't want it it's not much use at the bottom of the page here I want it to be stuck up here down below the menu somewhere so 
So we can use fixed positioning for this. So let's close up our custom CSS there. And we can go into positioning just above. Down here we've got position. Here's default. I'm going to change it to fixed and it'll look like it's going to disappear up here. It's actually up under our menu at the top here. So don't panic if you lose it, it's actually behind this menu. So to, I'm going to go to my vertical orientation and pull it down some with my little slider here. There we go, there we can see it. I'm going to put it about there. Just want it off the side slightly. Yeah, a little bit like that, that's fine. That's perfect. And that will stay there now and roll over everything that's on our page, which is just what we want. Okay, well, the reason I actually built this in a section, if we look at this in Navigator view, there's the section, there's the little text editor one. You can actually right click, save this to your library, save it as a template, and then load it into any page that you want. Just load it into the bottom after the last section of your page, and this will appear. Now, if you've got the pro version of Elementor, you can build that in a footer or a header and it'll automatically appear on all pages. So that's the reason I actually built it into a section just purely for that option there. And for anybody who didn't know, I just hit the little navigator button down there to bring that up. So let's save our changes and make sure this is all going to work. Update. I'm going to get rid of that page so we've got a nice fresh version and we'll view that with a little eyeball. There's our little drop down. There we go, there's our little links or our little menu items and our little color changes working on those as well. Let go, there it is. Roll down the page and it'll roll with us. So there you go guys, there's how to create a custom drop down menu with the Elementor. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.